Well, Paul, divine sovereignty and human responsibility go hand in hand. Code yourself. Now, let me go up in here a little bit. Let me go back up in here. Amen. We are chosen people, right? Yes. They must put every form to live a life of God. And this is what this message is telling us tonight. Amen. But we're going to pick it up at 12. John still ain't there, so we're going to give him a little time to get there. Breaking change at the Masters Round Table tonight, amen. Pastor Vic in the house, you know. So y'all don't know anybody, you know, I'm just a servant of the most high. <clears throat> Come on, somebody, y'all with me tonight. Amen. We got the men of Masters Workshop amen. here. Amen. Lord. I mean, we just had a battle a little while ago over the toilet. Over the toilet. <laughs> One brother afraid, one one brother afraid of an alligator coming out of there. So you know, uh, you know, some other creatures coming out of there. But you know what? The devil is alive. The only creatures that are coming out of here is what's in this house. Amen. That's what's coming out. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. We ain't gonna let the enemy stir nothing up over a toilet being installed. My God, I'm talking to somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Can I have some? Can I have a just a praise in the house? You know? God is good. Oh, amen. amen. We got the beach house paid. Amen. Hey, We're going on hey, vacation. Hey. We're going on vacation next weekend. So oh, we yeah. might not be oh, here the next weekend. Yeah. So we, <laughs> we know we ain't going to be here Friday and Saturday for sure. So oh, amen. Amen. we're going to be down at the beach house. Amen. That's how you do it up in here. Amen. You got I see them with smiles in the house now. You see, they don't forgot about the toilet business because now they're thinking about vacation. My God, I'm talking to somebody now. Come on, somebody, amen. Look what the Bible says. Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. Amen. Therefore, as God's what? Chosen people, holy and dearly loved, Close yourselves, my God. What does close yourself mean? That means you got to wrap yourself around. With. Come on, somebody. When you put your clothes on, what do you do? You, you put it on. Are y'all with me tonight? It says close yourself, what? With compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. I ain't seen none of that when I came in the house today. There was no gentle. Everything I got, got out of control. There was no patience. They didn't give John no patience. They, he can do what he can master, what he can do. Right. Amen. Talk to me, brother John. I'm glad to know we got so many plumbers in the house. <laughs> I think I gotta send one of these brothers to plumbing school. So when next time we have trouble, at least we have some credentials behind it. <laughs> and so if it don't go right, we can blame that brother. My God, I'm talking to somebody. Amen. Tell me somebody. Oh my God. Bear <laughs> with each other. Bear with each other, my brothers. You got to say, okay, man, you know, let me let me just help while he's working. Let me bring my brother a glass of water or something. Amen. Let me bring him a glass of Kool-Aid or something. Because he's working for us. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Bear with one another. Amen. Mm -hmm. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, my God, which binds them all together in perfect unity, my God. You got to be careful. Like the brother just said, you know, that, that, that enemy just needs something very little to take the love out of your hearts. You'll, you'll use the smallest, I don't care, you might trip and fall or something, you know. Spill your coffee on somebody. Mm -hmm. But the enemy will use something so quick to take the love out of your heart. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Talk to me, church. It says, and over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your what? Hearts. Heart. 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 Brother was right in the message. What did he say? He got it. You got to watch his heart. And then he said it. Amen. He was in the word already. My God. Bear with each other. Forgive one another. Oh, my God. Help me, Holy Ghost. If any of you have 
have grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you, and over all these virtues put on the which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Man, look what that's telling us. The peace of Christ. It's got to rule in your heart. Hey. You know, when, 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 when some rules over, it took over. Amen. Are y'all with me? Yes, sir. Amen. My God. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Since as members of one body, you were called to what? To peace. What were we going through? Come on, talk to me. My God, y'all better, man, y'all don't hear the word tonight. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Since as what? Members. What are we? Members. Members. Come on, somebody. This message was for us tonight. We are all members of what? One what? Body. Right. Right. Amen. My God. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts as, as members of one body. You were called to peace. He didn't say you were going to be at peace. He said you were called to peace. God is saying, many, you are mine. You belong to me. Now you're called to do what, I, what, the, what I'm telling you that you got to have in your heart. Come on, somebody. And be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you, what? Richly, as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, through psalms, whatever it is, through the wisdom, through singing, I don't care what it is saying. He's using this, says, he said, through hymns and songs from the Spirit, singing to God, what? With gratitude in your hearts. And look, here you go. And whatever you do, whether in word, my God. There was a lot of speaking when I came in the house. Oh, y'all ain't hearing the word tonight. Look what it says. And whatever you do, whether in word or in deed. That means in action. Do it all what? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Give it thanks to God the Father through him. My God. Give God glory and honor. You know, sometimes we can speak and we can say, you know, do this, do that, or whatever. But if you ain't doing it for the Lord, man, I wasn't even in this message. And I just opened up the Bible. It was right there. Amen. What did I just say? You got, to, you got to be careful with what words that you share. Because if you're not admonishing, you're not helping somebody up, then we ain't doing it for the Lord. Amen. We're doing it to cause division. We're doing it because we're grumbling. We're doing it because something ain't right. And then all it takes is one to stir it up. Come on, somebody. When you stir your, when you stir your Kool-Aid, you don't only stir it once. Come on, somebody. When you stir that Kool-Aid when you were a kid, you just kept stirring it up. You, you didn't know when it was finished. You just kept, come on, Will, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, my God. You just kept, came up stirring it. You, you were hoping to change colors or something. That's what, we, that's what we're doing tonight. You just keep on stirring it until you hope something changes. But ain't nothing changing. But, oh, my God, strike. We used to put a little bit of that and a little bit of that on to make our own color. There you go. But you kept on stirring it up. That's it. <laughs> That's not us today. We don't stir it up. Amen. We're here to admonish one another because we are members of Christ. He says to let the rule, let, let the love of God rule in your hearts. Let the peace rule in your hearts. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Are y'all with me tonight? Yes, sir. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus. There's nothing I said at all. There's nothing that we can do if we don't put Jesus first. Amen? Amen. Give God glory. Who wants yeah. to? Yeah. Come on. Come on. I, 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 I like listening. And I just, just listen to our first lady. And you know, y'all do it unto the Lord. You know, I heard it said several times. And I finally say, man, I want that. I said, I want that. And man, I found myself, I'm doing this unto the Lord. I'm doing this unto the Lord. And man, it's, all, it's awesome. All we do is make you smile and say, you follow the directions and all, and you listen. And it's just so simple. Just do it. Not talk about it, just do it. And that is so beautiful to hear. 
no wrong with this too. Man, that is great. I, I, I just love her and I love y'all for that. That's the first learning and listening. Amen. My God. Somebody else? And whatsoever you do in word or deed. Mm. I like that. Just say so right now. I was, I was trying to find scripture. I was like, not just in deed, but in word as well. You know, word and mm-hmm. God's good. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. It says the peace in 315. You know, when it says. Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart since as members of one body you were called to peace. You know, the, the attitude of peace that Christ alone gives in place of the attitude of bitterness and quarrelsome, my God. This attitude is to rule in all human relationships. Amen? Mm-hmm. Amen. Be thankful, brothers. We got to, we got to understand this is, this is the attitude of, of peace that, that God is calling us to have, not us. Because we're quick to quarrelsome. You know, we're we're quick to to make a uh, make a statement. You know, or or we we we're just too quick to with this tongue. You know, and sure. we got to be careful. Amen. Amen. You know, and and, and, wa- and watch that bitterness. The same. You know, because that attitude of bitterness. You know, sometimes we can be in a room and be bitter. We don't even know. It. Yeah, that's a true statement. Come on, somebody. I don't know why God is giving me that message. We can be bitter for something that wasn't right. Maybe something that we saw, maybe something that we won, maybe something we can't get, you know. If it's anything like I was when I was in my addiction, I stayed bitter. Because I couldn't go get my mess. I couldn't take off. Where are you going? You ain't going nowhere, I'm going with you. <laughs> Come on, somebody, y'all didn't hear me. <laughs> you know, but you know, my mother, no, you ain't going. And I stay mad and stay bitter. I said, no, 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 you ain't going. I'm going with y'all. Like, I, mean, I don't want to go here. I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, talk to me, Rob. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Can I keep it real tonight? I'm going to keep it real tonight. Amen. <laughs> but sometimes we need that structure in our lives. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. If we didn't have that, somebody tell you, no, you're not going to do it. You go out there and be like a healer, man. Mm-hmm. Just go out there and straight out, just <laughs> get yourself yeah, in trouble. <laughs> Then you be calling home, man. You bond me out. <laughs> I ain't got no bond money. You gonna stay in there all night? I'll, I'll find some money to get you out. I'm, oh, I'm talking to somebody yeah, tonight. Man. <laughs> but thank God that we have someone, you know, here to structure some men. Come on, somebody, amen. Yeah, yeah. And oh, and we're to call. We're called to structure one another, amen. True. You know, because yeah. you know we can stay bitter for things that are not going right in our lives, and it can just be the smallest thing. We might, we, you know, we think that, well, maybe I want something or I need something, but it's not what God wants. Right. Because when it's God's way and it's his timing, it will come right on in. It'll be dropped right in your lap. It'll come and say, man, here it is right here. Just like that. And you'll go, <laughs> man, how'd that happen? <laughs> come on, somebody. <laughs> That's how God works. We have to understand that Yes, we're here for a meantime. Everything's for a season, brothers. Everything is for a season. But when we get here, we, when we leave here, what we get the most beautiful thing is that we get the Word of God in our hearts. We learn real wisdom. If you can apply this wisdom to your heart and understand what God tells us, that everything that we want in our heart, we ask what He already knows that we want it. He already, he and his Bible says that you've already, if you believe, you already received it. Amen. So anything that's coming, Brother Leonard, I'll use you as an example. You're quick to, uh, not to say you're quick, but you, you, you're, not, you're not quick to, to make decisions. I know why you want to do it for your son, but I want you to make the, not the quick decision, I want you to make the right decision. Now, come on, somebody. I want you to make the decision that God wants you to do. And you'll know because God will speak to you. You'll, it'll make, you'll make it clear as day because people are going to give in to you because you're not going to give in. You're going to keep doing what you're doing because you've gotten so well to here. Come on, somebody. But now you want to jump from here because you want to make a decision and go here and you're not ready. 
There, you know, to get somewhere in life, you got to learn. You got, you know, you got to take step by step. You got to right. crawl before you walk. Come on, somebody. There you go. And and, and yes, you know, we our family.